Hey, what's going on guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. In this mixing tutorial, I'm going to show you how to layer guitar sounds so you can create a more full and dynamic guitar sound. I'm doing this in Pro Tools 8, but you can utilize this technique in any music production software of your choice. Don't forget to follow Wingsound on Facebook and Twitter so you can keep up to date with the latest releases from Wingsound Studios. Okay, so what I've done is I've plugged my guitar directly into my inbox and recorded clean. Okay, you get the idea. And what I've done is I've copied that exact performance on four separate audio tracks with the Sansamp plugin on it with four different presets. And I did this basically to mimic as if I recorded four different uh, guitar amps, mic them up and recorded them and all that. Or, you know, if you don't have four amps to work with, you could use one amp and just tweak the EQ and the mic placement to get four different sounds. So what you want to do is layer these sounds, you know, blend them all together to get that full and dynamic guitar sound that you're after. So the first one here, I've panned 100% left and the preset on the Sans amp is the rhythm preset. I haven't touched the preset. I haven't touched any of the presets. And I've instantiated the Digi One Band EQ with a low pass filter, um, 2.5K. So everything 2.5K and above is being cut out. I cut out some of that top end of the guitar. Uh, and I kind of created a more warmer, distorted guitar sound. I'll play it real quick. Okay, the next one here, I pan 60% left. The preset is Metal Rhythm 1 on the Sans app. Again, the Digi One Band EQ, this time with a high pass filter, and it's about 300 hertz. So everything about 300 hertz and below is being cut out. And this one is a more treble guitar sound to blend in with that more warmer guitar sound. And I'll play this one now. Okay, and now I'm going to play both of them together. Okay, so the next one here, I pan 60% right. The Sans Amp preset is American Woman. Again, the Digi One Band EQ, low pass filter, and about 7.4K. So everything 7.4K and above is being cut out. I cut out some of that like shrill fizzle on the top end and I'll play it with and without the digi EQ so here's with and without so it warmed it up a little bit and the last one here I panned 100% right the Sans Amp preset is the champ preset and I'll play this one Not very distorted, kind of clean sounding. And here it is when I blend these two together. Okay, so basically, you know, I use the EQ and the panning to create the separation, but at the same time blending them, all those sounds in together to create a really full sound. So now I'll play all four of them together. You know, this works out great if you have, you know, multiple guitarists playing multiple different parts. You could use a different sound for that part to make it stand out and give it its own space. So this way you don't have to go too crazy with EQing and all that to, you know, give it its separation. You know, you want to keep the middle kind of open, the center for the bass, the kick and the snare and the vocals and things like that. So really utilize your panning and make the choice in pre-production before you even go in and record on the sounds you want to use because it'll save you a lot of time, you know, doing EQing and all that when you go to mix. So now what I also like to do is blend in that clean direct guitar signal that I played in the beginning just to give more note definition. So I'll play it with the direct clean guitar and everything all together. <laughs> Now I'll mute out the clean guitar and then I'll bring it back in just so you could hear the difference. And 
almost brings out the distorted guitar parts better, you know, because you hear the note definition. You know, utilize this and really play around. And, you know, you'll find your way, you know, you'll find your sounds that you like and just work on blending them all together and you'll get a real beefy, full, warm guitar sound. You can always get in touch with Justin at WinkSound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at WinkSound.com.